Hello everyone, this is Ace Stocky here, and welcome to another episode of my Let's Play of the HeroCraft pack. Um, what I have done off camera is I have just upgraded the very first of my... I hate these doors. What I was trying to say is I have just upgraded the first of my citizen's huts to a level 3 standard. I guess the main reason I did that is I just wanted to make sure that it would work. So this is a level 3 hut, they have a little bed, uh, still the same little kitchenette, but now you can come upstairs and they have a bit of a sort of a room upstairs and then a bit of a balcony that kind of overlooks the village and they have a roof that is made out of green wool. The reason that's important is because I am now going to uh, steal one of their pieces of green wool and I'm going to throw it in my condenser because I had to give him like eight stacks of string. The reason I'm also jumping really slow and walking really slow at the moment is because I hate the idea of potentially breaking my boots. So I have decided to repair them. Gotta have some food somewhere, don't I? Can't eat a brain. So what have we got in here? Lots of rotten flesh. So my solution is just going to be put the green wool in there, throw some blaze rods in. I'm thinking that's going to be plenty. Might start with four stacks. Come on boots, excellent. Got all my boots repaired, got my armor repaired, where are my pants? Uh oh, don't you hate it when you lose your pants? Uh, yeah, it's my pants. There they are. So let's put the pants on. Shirt on, the goggles, and back to my special jumpy boots. Ah, uh, much better. Whoops. So now I'm just going to come in here. That is chock full. Let's go have a look at the delivery man's chest. Ah, perfect. Space for lots of green wool. Whoops. I need one of those pieces back so I can put the roof back on. Now, fingers crossed everything being equal and going well, I should now be able to update this building. Whoops. Build. And hopefully he should have all the materials he needs to be able to do that. Something that I am going to do very soon is now that this builder's hut is at level 2 that was just something that I was checking in the last episode as well, just making sure that it's the right level what I can now do is I can dig underneath this because I know that he's not ever going to make it any bigger and I can put a logistics pipe and a teleport pipe connected to my network and just tell it to constantly make sure that uh, things like wood and the other kinds of materials are permanently stocked in there I think he... hmm, he's got himself confused, never mind. The next thing that I'm going to do is I've been watching those other trees and I have determined that I don't like them. So now that I have some saplings, I miss this sword. Look at that. I'm going to update my forestry farm to have the correct saplings that I want. Okay, I'm going to sleep first. Sleep and then update. Wow, look at that. Lots and lots and lots of crystals. Okay. I will get to those crystals. I don't really have a use for them though. Now I'm going to come over here and start by telling this machine you no longer want those. You now want... Hmm. Gonna have to hit the condenser. Where are trees? So, wow, so much redstone. Um, gonna have to 
put some seeds, some flax seeds. Uh, just going to chuck everything that I don't think I'm going to need in there. And then see how much space I have to get some of this out. That should be plenty. Now let's throw that in there. Chuck those in. I think that is going to be a good start. We'll come over here. Tell this pipe now to keep to keep ten of those in. Better give it some so that it can actually keep them in there. Whoa! Um, stop. Got a little carried away. Put the redstone in this chest just here. Missed one stack. Let's put these in. So it should have lots and lots and lots of them again. There you go. Beautiful. Why are you... Doesn't know what it's doing, but that's okay. Hopefully there should now be 10 in here. Yep, excellent. Come over to this little setup. And we're going to say you need to keep... Sixteen saplings in. I don't know why it's not keeping any hummus in there. I'm stop sending those saplings. Just stop it. Totally clicking on the wrong thing. Okay. We want sixteen of those. Why did I just take that out of there? There must be something that's going on that it can't make hummus. We want, whoops, 20. Missing dirt. How embarrassing. Um, I can solve that problem for you. Dirt. Wow, skis. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stacks of dirt. Blocks. Whoops. Lots of dirt in there now. Take that dirt out. Take out a couple more stacks of dirt. Not sure why we were going through dirt so fast. It just doesn't seem right. But we are certainly going to solve that problem now. Give me... 20. Request successful. Come on. Beautiful, look at that. That's 16 pieces. Come on. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, slight technical glitch there. Uh, basically what happened is the game decided to hate me. Um... I'm not entirely sure how that happened, but uh, I tried to craft some hummus. It decided that it didn't want me to craft any hummus. It decided to kick up a huge giant saving chunks error. At the end of the huge giant saving chunks error, um, things got slightly better and then it crashed again but it seems to have all come good the third time around so wow look at that full power we need some way of cutting this thing here off now and sure enough um, sure enough I now have a way of doing that because uh, D-Winger has updated the pack this is version 1.31 now and there is like a thing called a switch, power switch pipe, that's it. Which requires one golden conductive pipe and a lever. And I just happen to have one of each of those. So now I put the uh, setup together like that and that gives me my conductive switch pipe. 
place that back down I need to configure that to be on power system can receive true now this here will not actually produce any power unless it's given a redstone signal and what I intend to do is say here uh, emit if full emit if partially filled uh, yeah emit if partially filled Uh, actually, you know what I might do? I might do emit if full, and now I'm going to need some redstone. Thankfully, I'm pretty sure we just, yep, as we just worked out, I have lots of redstone. So we're going to come over here. We're going to do the most simple of setups because uh, simple suits me just fine. So I'm going to start by building myself a really simple knot gate because uh, like I said simple suits me just fine so now one simple knot gate you can see power is now flowing and now I take this redstone here and set it up like so so now that there that thing is now now that this is fully charged there is n a redstone signal coming out and if I was to get um, let's get some 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 hmm there we go let's get some copper for example and throw it in the macerator here this will now start charging this thing here will be fairly shortly not full at least that's the plan uh, okay, we're having a technical issue. It's emitting a redstone to say that it's full, but there's no power coming out of it. Hmm. There definitely should be power coming out, because it, well, it filled it when I first put it there. Uh, you know what it could be? It could be that this is emitting a redstone signal which this is picking up it's too close together um, okay yeah, I can cope with that it just means I'm gonna have to adjust things a little bit which means I'm gonna need three pieces of gold and did I put rubber in this? no, where did I put my rubber? Yeah, because the transformer can be set to only pass power in certain directions if you configure it in a certain way. And I think I've configured it by accident in that way. So that's... I'm sure I grabbed three pieces of gold. How do you only grab... Okay. Take this again doing this all wrong okay so time to now come over here and hopefully see told you I got three time to not make my machines blow up so now by placing that just like that um, we now we need to place this so that the high voltage side is facing this way so hopefully excellent there we go so now very soon this should come up as being not full come on and once this becomes not full you should see this thing just here drop off and then I uh, really need something that uses more power, don't I? And then, yeah, this thing here should just kind of pulse on and just keep it at a full state. I think what's happening is this here had too much residual power stored up in it, and so it's basically still providing power. There we go. So you can see now it's turned off, which has turned that on, which has activated that, and it's now powering itself back up, and then all of a sudden that's full therefore it turns itself off again so we basically have a little setup that will constantly keep 
will constantly keep itself set up in the way that I want it to be. And then by now, hopefully over here, we should have adjusted to being on the new sapling setup because I have been told, hopefully it's good advice, that those other kind of saplings grow better and they work better in these kind of farms. So fingers crossed that's the case. My system should now replant them all for me. Little things should go crazy and start zipping some more saplings through to restock that setup. There we go. Sapling, sapling, saplings. And now they should all just grow. Now the next thing I have to do now is I have to grab out of here all of this wood because that wood's not actually any good to me. What is good to me though is the other kind of wood. That kind. So I'm going to throw all of this wood in here and then I also will need to come over to whichever one of these I've taught about wood. So that's this one. Need to clear that one and that one and that one and hopefully that should be it. So now I just need to clear those couple out and then teach them about the kind of wood they need to use. Blocks. So this is obviously going to take a little while, but I'm going to pause, uh, I'm not going to pause the video. Pausing the video would take too long. There is no time for pausing. Not too much more left. There we go. Just a couple more. And now we want to grab this out. Now we need to go back to these crafting tables and teach them who's boss. So we want that one in there. It gives me four light colored planks. And then was it this one here? Yep. Two light colored planks gives me a stick. We need to do one more of these because I'm going to need to do that one which is three light colored planks gives me a piston. Now time to teach these things again. It's very important to make sure that you teach your things because if, if you don't reteach them okay we want that to be not learning that lesson because something has gone wrong and it's got all clogged up and I can see a creeper off in the distance and I think I could hear something I don't want to hear as well come on, gotta teach it, gotta teach it, gotta teach it before he gets me there we go bad, bad zombie man coming up here, oh look at that it's now turned on, which means that this is not full. But for some reason it's not getting full either. Hmm. That's going to be a problem. For some reason it's not quite full, but it's not quite getting full either. Yeah, I'm not... Oh no. Well, it is looking a lot like I'm going to get the chance to do that again now. Um, I'm going to go sleep on that thought. 
and I'm going to hate creepers and I'm going to pause the video and come back once I've got things sorted. Back soon, hopefully. Okay, I'm back. Um, I've built mostly everything back. I haven't actually put the macerator down yet because I want to make a rotary macerator first. But I've set this back up, but this time I've got it to emit if partially filled. So it's not emitting at the moment because it's completely empty. But what should happen is if I kick that, it's now should emit if partially filled it should be emitting right now hmm I wonder what the threshold for partially filled is So now it's emitting because it's partially filled. So what should happen is when it's full, it should stop emitting. That's my plan. Not sure how that plan's going to go. So I'm going to build myself. Hmm, I've got eight pieces of iron. So I guess time to build a rotary macerator. Now for that, I'm going to need a bunch of stuff. Not expecting to get any doubling here, so I'm happy with that. Um, I'm probably going to need more iron than that, though. Too late. Got ten, so I got like one or two pieces doubled. It's Fourteen pieces of refined iron. Well, I need I need a machine block to start with. And then I need a bunch of things. Not totally sure what those things I need are yet. Let's put these up there. Grab these out. Put them in there. Now, hmm. I need coal dust to start with. That's going to need coal. Sometimes I wish that thing was up at full speed all the time. So what we're going to do is we're going to take all of this stuff out and we are going to throw some coal in here. Not sure how many I need, so I'm just going to put 32 in for now. You can see it's powering itself up. Slowly starting to macerate. These are just going to bounce backwards and forwards because there's too much EMC. Let's make lots of coal. I just can't think for any reason why I'm going to need that much coal, but I guess it's one of those things that it just never hurts to have some coal. Plus, I do intend to make something that's going to need a lot of coal as well, so let's just put a whole stack of coal in there. That is such a waste of EMC. Why are you sucking them out? Uh, don't, don't. Hopefully it can't use coal dust. Yep, perfect. Can't use coal dust. I'll collect that later. Hmm. Just keep doing your thing while you keep speeding up. While I'm waiting for that, I'm going to take one of these stacks of coal and I am going to make something good. Hopefully this works like this. Excellent. Before I do that, I want to just do a little duplication. I'm going to put one in there. I only want just enough because I have a plan. That was not the plan. 
the plan is to have just a couple of pieces of this stuff ready so that I can start to make Klein stars and Aetanalis fuels and all the other good stuff that I need to make. Thirty two coal dust. Now we already know coal dust doesn't have an EMC, but what coal dust does have is the ability to be something useful. I don't think I'm going to need two advanced machine blocks, although I probably will soon because I want to make an induction furnace as well. But that's super slow, so we'll just put that in there. It's going to take a lot longer to power now because this is only putting uh, 32 EU per tick out. But I was, uh, I guess, a little bit worried about how full the other one would think that it was, and the fact that it wasn't quite working for me meant that I don't really like it. More coal. Um, I need a refined iron, didn't I? So now I should be able to get by with just getting some copper and some tin. Wrong kind of wrench. So I need tin. So let's go for six tin and six copper. Don't crash on me. I'm sick of this thing crashing on me. Since I've updated to 1.31, I've had three crashes already today. And I don't know what's causing them, but I don't like it either. Now maybe this goes here. Okay, I've worked out what I did wrong. I'm in the Bronze Age. Bronze. Not the Copper Age. So, Bronze in the middle. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's still tin on the bottom. And then I'm pretty sure it's refined iron up the top. Yes, it is. So we'll come up here now. And we will get our four of those bad boys. And I'm going to need some more iron. Lucky I have a lot. It's going really slowly. That compressor is going to be quite critical to my ability to make uh, future compressors. So, obsidian, uh, grab, grab a stack of coal, maybe two stacks of coal out. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Thank you for stopping. Okay, how are we doing over here? Beautiful, we have three of them, and I have an inventory that is once again chock as full. Gotta start planning things better. Come on, fourth one, fourth one, fourth one, fourth one. Beautiful. Gotta get all that refined iron. No. Back to my beautiful little smelter. How much have we got in here? 150, plenty. Actually, visas has kind of ceased to be a bit of a problem for me lately. <clears throat> okay, there's one machine block. We'll make another one. So we want two machine blocks. Two of those, and two of those. So now we're going to need the rest of that refined iron, or at least a good portion of it. So we want macerator, advanced machine block, 
lots of iron, gives me one rotary macerator. So we're going to place that just there. Stay away spider. Don't have time to deal with this. I'm trying to make a video. Okay. So that's going to power up. That's just going to keep doing its thing while that's powering up. Now I need you. Who has food? Ah, uh, good old rotten flesh. It never lets me down. Perfect. Can't go wrong with rotten flesh. Just thinking to myself, what have I actually done this episode? I. And it's not a very good answer either. Singularity compressor. Bang. Ah, uh, what? I thought that lever on that one would power it. Okay. Hmm. Wonder. What I'm hoping is. Oops. That was not in my plans. What I'm hoping is if I put some redstone underneath, this is all going to be new to me. I haven't tried this before. I guess I'm, you know, experimenting here. I'm going to just grab that lever, put it there, turn it on. No, and no. Okay. Means I'm going to have to do something I was hoping to avoid doing. Gonna have to dip into my bag here and find some red aloe wire, which I don't have any of. So it's back over here. Come on. Wonder if you can do silver. Nope. It's got to be regular old boring ass iron. I think they aim to make things difficult. Aiming, 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 and succeeding. On the upside now, I think somewhere in here I should end up with lots of apples. Where are apples going? Because these trees now, as I knock them down, should be producing apples. Wondering where apples are going. Might just take one apple and put it in there and then see where in the network they are. Or if they're in the network. It's probably an even better way of saying it. Um, oh yeah, I totally forgot about you. Back over to the alloy furnace. We want iron. Make me red alloy. It slightly annoys me as well that uh, refined iron and red alloy have no EMC because I could. Even if they wanted to charge me lots of EMC for it, I could really just do with having some EMC. It would save me a vast deal of effort. But, I guess you can't always get what you want. Um, where's my piece of dirt? Hopefully this should work. Beautiful. Now both those machines are powering up, which means I'm drawing a slight amount of power out of this. But it's all travelling in the up direction, which is good. 
Now the next thing I need to do is make an electronic furnace. That is going to need copper. It's going to need copper cable to the max. Where did I put my rubber? There we are. Now, hopefully, hopefully I remember to keep some red star. Talk about disorganized. Ah, it's got to be copper cable. I'm thinking, what have I done wrong? Much better. So now to make an electric furnace, I need iron furnace, two redstone, blah 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 blah. All of that stuff once again means I'm going to need iron. Have no idea how much. I'm just going to grab a lot of it and not look at it because if I don't look, it can't crash. Um, so, iron furnace, two pieces of redstone and an electric circuit. I don't know why I made two of them. Now I need an electric circuit and some copper. Uh, sorry, yeah, an electric furnace and some copper. Now I need an advanced machine block. I'm going to get one of those by once again cooking up some iron. Uh, something flammable. Now I'm going to need some of that coal dust. Where did that coal dust go? I am not seeing coal dust anywhere. Thankfully, I have lots of coal and I just made a rotary style macerator. And it's not fully up to speed yet, but it's going quick enough that I can I can feel the love happening. Gonna need some more bronze and some more tin. Uh, where are my ingots? Nope, first one then. So let's put uh, this silver in there. Throw that copper in there as well. What am I going to need? I'm going to need three bronze, three tin, and three more iron. Save the rest of that dust for later, because right now I don't need it. Once I get the two of you happening, back up here, some more refined iron. That should wait. That should last, last way longer than that. I don't know why it's not lasting. We want iron, iron, iron. Bronze, bronze, bronze. Tin, tin, tin. Press the heck out of those now. Beautiful. These are all things that in the very near future I wish to train my system up to learn, but at the moment I just don't have 
all the things that are necessary to be able to do that. Stop clicking on things. 20 refined iron is, is heaps. I'm only going to need one machine block. Machine block. And two of those. And two plates. Basically the purpose of, of building these couple of machines that I'm building right now is just so that I have a stock of machines. My intention is not to really need to have me use these machines very often. I think now there's like an update check that it needs to do. Ah, no, nope, not an update check, it needs a power check last piece of copper cable. I knew I saved that for a reason. Beautiful. Once it's got full power it'll start heating up. So basically what I intend to do is I intend to teach my system how to make a bunch of different things. So I intend to teach it how to make uh, those advanced alloy plates. I intend to teach it how to make copper, uh, sorry not copper, coal dust. I intend to teach it how to make all those different sorts of things that I need for advanced machines and things like that. And I'm going to need to use these because I'm going to need to obviously macerate the coal to make coal dust. I'm going to need to compress mixed metal ingots. I'm going to need to teach it how to make bronze. So there's lots of different things that I'm going to need to teach it for the next episode. And then once I have all that advanced crafting sort of stuff set up, I will have what I need. Oh, look at that ran out. Once I, I teach it everything that I need, I will then have the ability to use this system to start making some really sort of advanced IC2 things quite quickly and then from that point I'll then move on to equivalent exchange. So I'm hoping that in the next episode I can get some more things done now that I've got those three machines to help me out. Um, wow. Do I have a bag of... Oh, yeah, I've got lots of diamonds. Actually, it's probably gold and iron that I'm going to need more. So we'll one, two... Grab a bunch of those. Come over here. Some gold. Once I probably get maybe two stacks of gold, I might do something with it. Head back over to my machines. Thinking two stacks of gold is going to be good. Let's grab a piece of iron. Get myself a lot more iron. Four stacks of iron should be good. I mean, I have to say, I think mining is a bit superfluous once you get to this stage. Definitely don't have enough bronze, so that's going to need uh, tin and copper. And I'm pretty sure bronze has the same EMC as iron, so once I make one of them, it's dead easy to make more. Hmm. I didn't realise it was particular for the order. Make me some bronze. I'm going to do the same thing as I did before. Make four stacks of it. Um, two stacks of copper. <clears throat> I'll deal with that cobble later. So make it that many stacks of cobble, copper. Put the gold back in. Get that up to a full stack of gold. Oh wow, that's 36 minutes, so I'm... I'm as soon as I get this as a stack of gold, I'm going to stop. Okay, put that all, all in my my metal ingots chest, and I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. A stocky out.